Now I'm going to show you how can we install to Optix. First, we need to download Blender. Then we need to download FreeCAD. After that, we need to download to Optix and then we can install to Optix. So we need three types, three different types of software. So first we're going to blender.org and to the download menu and in this case I install it on Windows so I choose a Windows version and 64 byte a bit and I choose USA or DE for Germany for example then after that I install FreeCAD I choose the Windows version and my M64 bit systems and after that I go to github dmst and 1990 to optics there you find the, um, the program for topology optimization and in this case download the version 1010 2016 um, release 01 and install the example files input s2 input t2 and finish i did this i installed blender and i installed free cad so first of all i use the um, i go to the blender folder on program files blender and i copy the blender folder on the desktop now I extract two optics, which I've downloaded on GitHub, and here's my two optic folder. I can look at that, and it's only Python source files, so this is the source code. Um, I don't need, um, so it's open source, and you can change it if you are an experienced programmer. Then go to Blender 278 scripts. Add-ons, and here on add-ons you can paste two optics. Now you can leave it like that. Go back to Blender here. Here we need to install the solver, and the solver can be installed by um, FreeCAD. There's Calculix installed. I go to FreeCAD bin CCX. It's Calculix execution file, and I need also a dynamic library, which called pthread gc2. I choose th these um, two files and paste them in the Blender um, folder too. Now, I can download my two files, input s2, input t2. Here's these files, but I need to rename it. That's very important. The optics can also only work with these file names, input T and input S in the current version. And I paste it here. S stands for um, the structural part, and T stands for a thermal calculation. Now I'm finished and I can um, activate to optics in Blender. So I go to File, user preferences add-ons here are add-ons on the top i go to mesh and here on mesh you can see topology optimization save it and now here on the panel on the left side you see to optics and it's installed so i can use it on the first thing i choose a structural one single physic and a type of material simp um, if you don't know um, something about um, topology optimization, keep the value as default and just start it. So structural sim and here start of optimization. Here is the output part. So I import the last result. So I get the last result. I can output the finite element mesh at an inf file. So I can import it in Abacus or in um, Hyperworks. I can choose each step, so I can import in Blender each step, and I can choose auto geometric improve. So now we have 
to wait a little bit and that we can um, and now we can see what is going on okay and this uh, values are for multi-physic um, optimization so if I only choose structural ensemble one um, I don't need to change any of this value um, um, so optics won't look at these values so I can click on all but nothing will happen if I choose thermal one and multi-physic and then I need to um, type the right um, parameters so for example type of scaling physic is median and the method is weight factor okay here's the result this is the automatic geometric improved results so um, two optics if I choose only two optics I get this block structure as my result but I can choose automatic improvements and if I go here and um, this is the first step of iteration so I see okay he, he doesn't know that he needs here some um, material and on the second iteration he gets um, the real final result structure so here I have one iter constant iteration and two iteration of scaling. So I get three results. One, two, three. And now I'm finished. And in this case, the, um, uh, we see the typical um, standard topology optimization model. In this case, um, for um, beams. Here's a beam, here's a beam, here's a beam, here's a beam, and the forces acting on um, the surface on the upper one. Okay, now you can um, redesign some models and um, do some thermal calculation as well, but you need to know how can I um, create calculus input files because it only works with